Hello everyone, my name is Alec and I'm living here in Brussels. I'm not a professional plumber, um, I have no formal training, but uh, I have received a lot of help from the internet, from YouTube, and therefore I thought I would give some of my uh, experience back to the community. So here I have um, one boiler which I have taken out, a combi boiler from Bulex. Um, uh, that's, uh, it's probably a Belgian company, and uh, I have been experimenting on it so that uh, I can gain a bit more knowledge. So, in the videos coming up, I will show you some of uh, the rep repairs that I've done. So, disclaimer, I'm not a professional. If you can't do it, seek professional help, and uh, be very careful when working with gas. Of course, you know in some countries you need to, have, uh, to be gas certified to work on uh, these appliances. The heat exchanger is actually found um, here at the back of this boiler. Of course, this one I have uh, dismantled and taken off so we can see it easily. But, um, uh, so here it is. Um, that's the top and the bottom. And as I say, this is where your water gets uh, heated up as, uh, it, and, and ex as it moves around the system. So we will be taking one off, but we will have to act as the combi boiler will be on the wall, we will then be accessing it through the front and um, there it will be a bit more difficult to have access to it. The problem is that it's difficult to get access to the heat exchanger. You need a torque 20 uh, screwdriver and um, preferably a very thin one. So this one, I've uh, slightly untightened the uh, screw already. And uh, on this side, I'm trying to, but it's a very difficult one to, uh, it seems to be very tight. So I am going to try again. And after I um, untighten it slightly, then I'm going to turn off all the water and uh, to be able to take it off. One of the problems is that um, these screws are really tight and uh, you sh if you can't get it out by yourself you should know your limitations and uh, don't break the top of it and um, as I say for that we need a Torx uh, 20 screwdriver and I uh, wasn't able to do it, so I had to call my friend uh, who's stronger than me, and uh, he managed to open it. So this is the heat exchanger, which I took out of another um, uh, heating system, and which I'm now going to... I've cleaned up, and I'm going to put back in this one. Uh, I made sure that I'm going to turn off the water. I've disconnected it from the electricity, and... Um, so there shouldn't be plenty of water coming out. So once I turn off there, I turn off here, and I should normally be turning off here, but the uh, um, lever is gone, so I've turned on the main water instead. Of course, before um, changing, you should get rid of the pressure on um, the, the system. So I'm going to undo this so that the water will run off and um, there'll be, yeah, from the pressure valve. I will then be able to work much easier. Okay, there isn't uh, much water, so here, as I say, just undo this screw. Okay, now as the pressure, I wasn't able to release the pressure on there, so I'm doing it slowly. And um, on this side, I'm going to go in to the, you need a, quite a thin torque screw in order to do this. I've just undone the screws and uh, it's dropped down to the bottom. There is the heat exchanger and uh, after the water drains away, I will then take it out through the top. So basically, I'm going to grab it and pull it above here uh, to take it out. So what I do, I've pushed it over to the right hand side and then I'm going to be moving this part here, the left hand side. Um, I've lifted it up and here it comes out from the top. So that's it. 
it's out and um, uh, the washers, I'll have to recover these washers to put back on the other one. So, yeah, see it full. Uh, um, hold on. Um, as uh, you might be able to see here, it's full of muck. Um, uh, let's see if we can see that. Yeah, there it is. So, of course, that explains why the water has been uh, lukewarm. Make sure that you put them back in the same way that they came out. So um, the top is here and the top is there. It says top in this case. And uh, I'm going to be pushing back the, putting back the washers there and, um, uh, and over there. And I think there are two left on the moment. The difficulty now, of course, um, is that uh, the washers have come off. Um, and uh, in some cases they can actually stick on there which makes it quite easy to put it back but in this case um, I will have to take these washers and then try and uh, well try I'll have to get them back onto the back of the boiler and then put this part on because as you can see these don't actually stick on to it it's uh, if they stuck on it would be easier but that will need a bit of patience so I have managed to put back the four washers. So essentially, you see here at the top, at the black parts um, on, to, on the right there and over at the left, that's where the uh, you can feel the grooves in it. So it's not too difficult. If your hands are smaller, of course, it does make it easier uh, to put them back. And uh, it's recommended to try and wear gloves because, of course, you prevent yourself from being dead cut from my friend we've managed to reposition the um, heat exchanger and uh, once you hold it in place you screw back your two screws and you tighten them and uh, that's about it um, as I didn't dismantle much in here I should be able to turn on back the water and test to make sure that there are no leakages ah yes we will I have another job to do because it's also leaking downstairs, but that's not part of the heat exchange replacement procedure. So, now that I've turned on the water, I'm turning on it back here, and here, and uh, electricity is going back in, and uh, we will have to fill the system. Yes, so... And uh, I'm going to... Okay, the pressure, as we didn't leave too much out, the, pr the pressure seems to be there. And um, I'll let it fill back up. Right, we have just turned on the water so the air is escaping, and, um, which is good. And uh, the temperature is rising, so... Um, we need to get we need to get rid of the air in the system afterwards. Right, everything seems to be fine. It uh, is working, so we can go close and check to see that there are no leakages. Um, well, yes, you can look behind here to make sure that uh, there are no leakages. Everything seems to be fine. So that's it, and it's not too difficult if you have some help. My next uh, task will be to clean up this and get rid of the muck out of it and uh, hopefully it should serve for another occasion because it was only changed a few months back. Here in Belgium the water is uh, full of calcium and they've been working on the roads so yeah it causes a lot of problems to our piping. <laughs>